Hiya, love. Hi. Just come to check if everything's all right, you know. Um, look, I heard that Bev was leaving. Obviously, <sighs> saw you both earlier. Yes, she's gone. So, looks like you've got your work cut out from now on, doesn't it? Does that mean that you'll definitely be keeping the shop on, then? I've got to, to be bread and butter. <sighs> I thought with you having retired and everything... Don't you worry. Your job's safe. In fact, I'm going to need you more than ever now. How are you? Hiya. Hey, why don't you get off, love? I can lock up here. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. It's nearly time for you to knock off anyway, isn't it? <laughs> See you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Ta-da now. You look how I feel. Just call around to tell you where I'll be. Vals. Why? You know why. I couldn't spend another minute in that house. No, I mean, why not mine, Jack? Bev's moved out now. There's no problem. I couldn't, Rob. But I thought that's what we both wanted. No. Anyway, I've already called our Val and told her I'm on my way. Well, at least come back for a cup of tea. What arm can a cup of tea do? All right. One cup of tea. Is it okay if I go and fix myself up in the back? I must look at right state and then um, need the loo. Yeah, of course it is. The doors are locked to upstairs, Jack. And then we can go back to ours and decide what we're going to do from here. Uh, sorry, our kid. It's just about to close. I was just wondering if you could help us. We're looking for someone we believe lives locally. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, James Corkill. Do you know him? Well, actually, I know two of them. Unfortunately. Which one would you be after? Early 20s. Drug squad, are you? Yeah, that's right. Drug squad. We've been wanting to talk to Mr Corkill for quite a while now. Number 10, Brookside Close Officer. Just drive round the back of the shops and you'll see the road on your left. I think he's in there now. Thank you, sir. You've been a great help. Yeah, glad to help. That lad deserves everything that's coming to him. We'll see what we can do. Oh, feeling better now? Right, well, I'll just get this place locked up and we'll have that cup of eh? <laughs> oh, I'm cracking up in here. I've got to get out. Oh, you want to go out, do you? Mm. Right, OK, fine. Well, you go out, then. You just pack your bags, Jimmy, and get out now. What? I have had enough to hear with you. All I ever wanted to do was to help you, do you know that? And look where it's got me. I've lost your mother. I've lost everything because of you. You can't do that, Dad. What about dealers? They'll catch up with me. No, I have had it, Jimmy. I've had enough. I wish to God I'd left you out in France. I must have been off my head to think you'd ever change. Well, that is it. It's over, Jimmy. If you want to wreck your life, that's up to you. Just go out and kill yourself, see if I care. I'm going out. And I want you gone by the time I get back. All right. Hello, young James. We've been looking for you all over the place. You've missed your deadline. Oh, all right, Mr. Rowlands. Uh, look, I have got your money, right? But it's just that it's not here. I can't get hold of it until next week. Just give us a few more days. That's all I'm asking. Come on, just a, just a few more days, eh? Sorry, lad. Your time's up. Oh, no. Oh, Jimmy. 